Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Profiles in Risk. I'm your host, Dr. Ed Horowitz. Joining us this week, we have Jen Jacobson. Jen is a Senior Risk Advisor with Hub Risk Services Division based in Omaha. She's a licensed property and casualty insurance producer whose primary role is educating and assisting clients within all industries and identifying their professional and cyber liability risk exposures and advising them on risk financing and risk controls. Welcome, Jen. Good afternoon. So I wanted to start off by asking you about you know, what your life has been like as a risk advisor during the pandemic. I think that's what everyone is interested in hearing. So tell us what you've been up to and what your life's been like. Absolutely. As an outsourced risk consultant for our clients, we've really stepped in and assisted them as they've shifted into a crisis mode with the pandemic. So, you know, they maybe had plans in place for business continuity, disaster planning of sorts, or they didn't. And as they're shifting and looking at new business opportunities, we're filling in gaps for them in a lot of areas within the, the risk advising piece. For example, we are helping them analyze new business opportunities. Maybe it's a new business uh, delivery model that they have. You know, a lot of restaurants, for example, only offer dine-in and now in order to keep their doors open, they are shifting to provide delivery or carry out options to, to their um, customers. And that creates a whole new set of risks and challenges for them. So through this, we've been creating different risk playbooks for industries to kind of address the different uh, topics affecting their specific needs as well. A lot of research and development for, for those customers and most importantly, just stepping in wherever they, they need us to help them fill a gap that they don't have within their own organization. Wow. Sounds exciting. Uh, tell me a little bit more about those risk playbooks that, you're, that you referred to that you're helping with uh, businesses with. Sure. So within, you think about the, in, the whole enterprise, you have, you know, technology, you have human capital, you have physical security, financials. So for example, in the IT division, now we have employees shifting to a work from home environment that maybe never was in place before. So we have a whole new set of risks and uh, risks that need to be evaluated and assessed and shifting those employees offsite. You know, it's opening up new ports and creating new vulnerabilities within the network, and helping clients go step by step and see ways to identify the risks and exposures is, is how the playbook is used. That sounds interesting. So, hey, you know, another question that comes to mind is these days risk management, enterprise risk management is just at the forefront of everything we're doing. It's hard to look at any aspect of our life, whether it be health or work or just about anything that doesn't involve risk management. And I think people are becoming more aware of what risk management is, both on a personal and a professional level. And likewise, we've seen incredible interest and growth in our programs at Creighton, in our ERM program specifically. Um, could you give any advice to any people looking to get into the uh, risk management space that might wanna be uh, pursuing a career as a risk advisor or ultimately a chief risk officer? Sure. No, I think that risk managers or risk advisors are really only as good as their experience. You can go through an academic program and you can apply different theories and principles of risk and enterprise risk management. But until you get out and have experience, it's, it's really hard to be a good risk manager. So I would encourage folks to take all the opportunities, opportunities that they have to learn different aspects of the company, stick themselves into, you know, maybe divisions or departments that they didn't necessarily think or that are not very glamorous to, to learn those aspects. There's a lot of skills that risk managers need that you don't necessarily think of. And we think that a risk manager needs to have that financial background, the analytical uh, strategic thinking piece of, piece of mind but it's really important to have strong communication skills, negotiating skills. So focusing and nurturing those skills is really important to be a successful risk manager. I think you bring up a good point because 
Oftentimes, like you said, the focus has been more on the technical skills of a risk manager, the financial aspects and such, and the modeling and the quantitative analysis. But we oftentimes forget the communication and the softer skills that are important because oftentimes when pulling groups together and leading groups, leading organizations in a risk advisor role, um, it involves culture change and it really involves bringing the organization around. And it is those softer interpersonal skills that are so important for risk advisors and chief risk officers to have to help facilitate and bring about this kind of this corporate culture of looking at the business through this risk lens. I think it's really important. And I appreciate you bringing that up because sometimes it's things that we don't necessarily think of. Before we uh, end our time today, you know, since we talked about young people getting into the business, you have a very interesting path into the risk advisory business, and it even has a Creighton connection too. So could you share that with our audience? Sure. So I was a nursing home administrator for nearly five years and realized that I really love the, the crisis aspect of my job in that role. I like putting out the fires as they came up. So I decided to further my education and attended Creighton School of Law. And it was really during my time at Creighton and the opportunities that I had as a law clerk that I really got Im immersed into the risk aspect, um, as well as compliance, which oftentimes goes hand in hand. So during that time, I, I had the opportunity to work at a health insurance carrier and also with a large uh, physician advocacy group to really learn the risks and the issues that they faced in that regard. So that ultimately led me to my current position. That's a great story. Yeah. I mean, oftentimes we think about the path to risk advisor or chief risk officer coming through the finance area and sometimes not through the law area. Like you said, compliance does run into that a bit. Um, but it's also kind of reminding us that there are many paths to get into the field of risk management, some traditional through finance, but also some through law and other areas like that. So it's a good reminder. We thank you. So that's all the time we had this week for Profiles in Risk. Wanted to thank Jen Jacobson, Senior Risk Advisor from the Hub Risk Services Division based in Omaha. We look forward to seeing you next time on Profiles in Risk. Thanks again. Cheers, everyone.